Hello everybody, welcome back. The time has finally come. Today is the day that the new expansion pack for The Sims, Country Living, has come out. So I've just got my hands on the new pack and I am so excited to jump into this. Today's video is going to be the first part of a new series on the channel. I can't stop smiling because I'm just so excited. <laughs> I am going to be making my dream life in the Country Living pack. We are going to be basically combining Stardew and Sims and making my dream life in this series. We are going to be doing a rags to riches style series using the new lot challenges too and hopefully finding my sims version of Leah slash Sophia. <laughs> I am so freaking excited so let's jump straight into it. So I've just opened up the sims and we've been greeted with this like welcome plat. Welcome to the sims 4 cottage living. Wait was I call it country living? I think I called it country living. <laughs> I'm gonna get the name of this wrong. I get the name of all the packs wrong. Cottage living, country living, same thing. <laughs> Raise or befriend animals. Oh my god, this is my dream come true. Chickens and cows can provide sims with eggs and milk. Llamas provide wool for crafts. Just don't get spit on. Oh my gosh. Wild birds share their sweet songs and rabbits will freely roam. But keep an eye out for the mischievous foxes. Live off the land, whether sims grow their own produce, forage in the wild, or visit the village market. Fresh is best. Up for a challenge? Try growing oversized crops to enter into the competition at the Finchwick Fair. Ooh, that's exciting. Exciting. That sounds like a little bit of law there even. Embrace the countryside. Henford on Bagley, which is the new world that comes with the expansion, is nestled in the cosy countryside where everyone knows everyone. Pack for a lovely picnic. I saw this in the trailer that we can have picnics and oh my gosh, I think I squealed audibly. I audibly squealed. That is something we've been missing for the longest time. What is more quintessentially English countryside than a picnic? Pack for a lovely picnic or lose yourself in a cross stitch session. Get to know the local and learn about the town from your neighbours so there is going to be lore which is super exciting. Enjoy the simple living. Benefit from higher quality food while using the new simple living lot challenge. That's what we're going to be doing I think. This new lot challenge will require your sims to cook with fresh ingredients for each meal. Will your sims be up for the challenge? We're up for the challenge. Lil Sim is going to be up for the challenge. I'm really excited. Let's get straight into it. New game. So first things first is designing me. So <laughs> this is going to be hard. I don't have a picture of myself, so I'm just going to have to like guess. I have no idea how I look, so this might be a problem. <laughs> oh, why has that gone like that? Oh no. I do have mods installed, which I probably shouldn't have, but we're just going to see how it goes. Okay, let's get rid of everything to start off with and just start with an empty base. I think I've got quite dark eyebrows actually. I don't like, I don't even know where to begin. Like my face features don't look like this I don't think I don't know I need to find like lips and a nose that looks more like mine I've never really made me in the sims I don't know what I look like I think I have a thinner lip up there maybe bigger I think I smile quite a lot so maybe I'll give myself a smile <laughs> I'll be nice to myself sorry about these like glitching out things might be this four column mod who knows how to make themselves truly that's like that takes some master skill to know what yourself looks like. But I do want it to be me because this is my dream life. So, you know, I don't want any other sim living in this because I would just be jealous, I think, forever. <laughs> Does that look like me? Okay, I don't feel like these are my lips. I've messed around with these lips for so long. I don't even know what lips look like mine. What lips do I have? How do you know this sort of thing? I think I've just got like a little bit of a smiley lip. Okay, eyes. I know that I have eyes. Um, I kind of want to go with one that doesn't have the Sims like border thing, like the eyelashes that they have. I think my eyes are quite far apart from each other. I don't know. Are they? I've got quite a plain face, like as far as faces go. I, I just don't think I've got much going on really. Okay, which eye colour? I've got quite bright blue eyes. Oh, these ones are kind of nice. Maybe I'll go for these CC ones. I don't think this looks like me. Okay, the eyebrows are wrong. So let me get some eyebrows that look more like mine. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna find any. Why do these have like this, like, why does she look so sad? What have I done to these eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know how to make them look like normal shaped. Okay, as you can tell, I don't um, I don't think that's what I meant to do, is it? As you can tell, I don't really use casts all that much, so I'm not very good at it. Okay, I do have freckles, so let's maybe try and add some of those. Oh, what about this skin? I don't know if that looks like me, though. I might give up trying to make it look like me, to be honest. <laughs> I have freckles, like, kind of here. I only have a couple along, like my nose and cheeks. Does this look like me at all? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I might have a bigger head than this. Oh, but now I've... Oh, now I've really changed the shape of 
Oh, no, that doesn't look right. Oh, how do I <laughs> undo? No, uh, do I? How big is my head? Oh, this hair is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. However, do we have new hairs with the new pack? Do we have any new hairs? Let me have a look. Oh, wow, we got so many new hairs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got, wow. So, wow, look at the texture on this. I didn't mean to click your ears, love, sorry. The little hair piece, this is so cute. Look at the texture though. And then we've got it without the hair piece. I don't know if this is like a mod I have, but... That might be the skin messing with it. Oh my gosh, and then we've got this little fringe. Oh, stop, that's so cute. I wish I had my hair shorter so I could have this hair. <laughs> does the bow change? Oh, it does. It does. What hair colour do I have? And then we have another one. Oh, this is like a long plait at the back. This is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I would definitely wear my hair like that, especially if I was farming. Another pretty fancy hair. Oh. I'm gonna cry at everything. If I'm crying at hair, just wait till we see the animals in game. Oh, <laughs> it's just cause they're so small. Oh wow, this hair is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the fringe on that. The little tiny details as well, the wispy hairs by the ears. I love this. And then this hair is stunning too. Oh my gosh, okay, my lover might have to have this hairdo. I really like this one. Wow, we got so many. That's a bit of me, that. I want that hair. I feel like I'm gonna have to do me ginger, even though I'm not really ginger in real life, but everyone thinks I am. I don't know what I look like. I'm having a proper existential crisis over this because I really don't know what I look like. This looks more like my hair color and it's got freaking lilac in it. So I think we'll go for this one. Let's add some eyelashes firstly. Starting to come a bit more to life. What is this? Oh, do we have anything with the new pack? Let's have a look. Oh, we do. We have these necklaces. We have some glasses. Oh, they're really cute. I don't really wear glasses like that, but they are very, very cute. Oh, God, she gave me side eye then. It's me. What am I saying? I gave me side eye. Oh, a little strawberry. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm so sorry about all the like glitchy stuff, by the way. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think it's my mods messing with it. It definitely doesn't look how I look on camera, but this is my hair colour in real life. If you follow on Twitch, you will know we have constant debates over what my hair colour actually is because in pictures it's blonde. On camera, it's quite red toned. Okay, I have no muscles, so let's get rid of that. I don't have a shred of muscle on my body. I think I've Give my, I'll, I'll be a bit kind to myself. I'll give myself a little bit of a, you know. There is a spider right next to me and it's really panicking me. But also, if I'm about to have a farm, I kind of have to get used to that sort of thing. So I'm trying not to let it bother me right now. Oh my, no. <laughs> There's a mushroom on it. I don't think I was quite ready for this pack. I just think I'm a bit overwhelmed, really. That is so cute. It's not my style at all. The yellow, the mustard yellow. Oh my God, I love it. I've just noticed that the picture is a chicken. I'm gonna cry a lot, I think. Oh my gosh, we've got a big knitted cardigan. Oh, I could see all my grannies in the future wearing this. And then we've got a big coat. Oh, this is kind of cozy. I feel like that would be good outdoor wear. I like the layers. If you're in England, you need layers in the winter. Why does that look Christmassy to me? Oh, it looks so festive. <laughs> and then we've got some plain swatches too. I'm sorry, but that is so cute. The little mushrooms on everything. We've got a big sweater here that looks warm and cozy. I love all of this. Hello. <laughs> How am I going to get into gameplay? I don't even know. And then we've got this sort of top, which... Oh, this is quite nice. I've never seen this sort of style before. This is proper, that's proper farmer gear that. That looks like you own a farm and you mean business. And another big sweater, another grandma sweater. We love a grandma sweater. Oh, it's got like a lilac grey colour. That is very cute. I love the little pocket as well. And of course, the staple mustard. I quite love that. Oh my god, it's got patches. Of course it's got patches. I love that. And I think best till last. This is so sweet. The green swatch is so nice. I love it. How am I going to choose? Okay, full body. There's so much. Oh my gosh, this is like... Oh, the detail in this mesh. Are you kidding? It gives me like a sort of witchy vibes, but like cottagecore witch vibes, which is me. That This is the sort of life I want. So maybe I should go for something like this. <gasps> is this a strawberry dress? <gasps> Lemons. That's so cute. Oranges. Now I'm just naming fruit. <laughs> I'm really liking all the green clothes. I look 
look like Cinderella. I think we might have to wear Cinderella. I can't go on. It's too much. Every single one is like more emotional than the last. I'm not even being dramatic. This is just me. There's a fox on it. Oh, there's leaves on the butt. I'm sorry, there are leaves on the butt. I'm sorry if you think I'm being dramatic by all of this, but I am just living my best life already. There are so many different styles here, which I absolutely love. I love that they haven't just gone for one style. And then we've got some more like formal outfits too. I think we might have to go Cinderella. I quite like the yellow. Does it clash with my headband? Do we care? And then maybe we can like update our appearance as we go oh there's wellies i think we have to start with some wellies wellies are on let's add some nail polish oh my god little gardening gloves are you kidding me i'm just staring at the sim self and wondering if it looks like me I really don't know if it does, but y'all can let me know. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> Formal, we said we were going to go for, was it this one? I think it was this one, right? With maybe the lemon. Oh, I liked the green one as well, though. Maybe we'll go for the green. I can't make my mind up. They're all too cute. Or I could go for lilac, but that might be a bit much. Let's go for the green. I like the green. Oh, maybe the big daisies would look cute. Yeah, let's add those. Oh, these ones are cute too. Oh, yes, they go with my dress. Okay, perfect. And then let's jump into athletic. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I never do athletic stuff in my life. So this is not realistic, but I'm gonna tie my hair up because if I did ever do athletic stuff, I think I'd tie my hair up. <laughs> or maybe we could do this one. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, so if I was going to the gym, I think I'd just wanna stay as hidden and blend it into the background as possible. So I've just gone for something really plain. Oh, this is a night dress. <laughs> I would never wear a night dress, but it is quite cute. And of course I'm gonna give myself some, some dog slippers because why would I miss this opportunity? And I think I'd wear my hair in a plait as well or sleep in. Now onto party. Oh, okay, they've decided to give me a septum where I didn't have one before. Okay, maybe for party we could have like the little plaques here. Like that's quite cottage living, I feel. Still like the vibe, but it's just not from the pack. <laughs> it's actually CC. Oh, that colour's really nice. Let's go with that colour. I like that. Oh, where has my... What is going on here? That is quite alarming. Okay, hot weather. I kind of wanted to wear the wellies again just because they're really cute. So this is the hot weather outfit. Got our wellies on again. They do clip a little bit, but that's fine. No one can see that. Okay, so there is our sim. I'll quickly go through all the outfits again. Cinderella vibes for every day. We've got a little party outfit. We've got our sportswear, which let's face it, we're not going to see a lot. <laughs> We've got our sleepwear with our little cute slippers on. I love our party wear. I hope we can go on some cute dates and see some people in our party outfit because this looks cute. We scrub up well. We've got our swimwear, which probably won't use that much because it's the English countryside and it's never hot enough. We've got our hot weather and cold weather wear as well. Now's the hard part, traits. Okay, let me put my name, Lil, surname is Sim. How do I walk? Y'all call me posh in chat. It'd be so funny having a rags to riches sim where she walks like this. Shall we do it? Aspiration. It looks like there's some new ones. Oh, these are, okay, <laughs> that's not new. That's from Bust the Dust. I just don't use Castle a lot. Okay, yeah, these are not from this pack. <laughs> Country caretaker. Country caretakers want to tend the countryside and befriend all animals and critters. Well, me and my spider friend have coexisted, although now I don't know where it's gone and that terrifies me. But I'm going to go for country caretaker, unless there's another one. No, that's vampires. Okay, traits. Is there any new traits? Animal enthusiasts. These sims are obsessed with animals and they will seek their company often. They will have an easier time caring for animals and getting closer to them. Lactose intolerant. What? These sims will become sick if they eat dairy but will feel great if they have avoided it for a while. Is there any others? Okay, I think they might be the only two. What are my other traits? I think I'm quite... What? What? I don't know. <laughs> Love the outdoors. That's definitely me. Be great for this challenge too. Maybe I'll go for creative. Let's do creative. And then we've got likes and dislikes. So colour, obviously purple. What sort of music do I like? Hmm. I like summer strut. I like happy, uplifting songs. Activities. <gasps> Baking, cooking, gardening, of course. Media production, I suppose. I like YouTubes. <laughs> Dancing. I'm not good at it, but I like it. I like just dance at least. Does that count? Is there a video game? Games. Yeah, video games here. What do I like for decor? Definitely not modern. Okay, I think boho I quite like, farmhouse I like, storybook, I think that sounds like quite cute. So we'll go for those three. Okay, there's Lil Sim. I think I'm all done, right? Is that everything I need to do? Although I kind of want to get a cat, but maybe we should adopt that later. Okay, 
Let's play. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You all don't even realise how excited I am for this challenge. Oh, which season should we start in? Maybe we should start in summer. Because that's what we're in right now, like in real life. So it make the most sense maybe. And of course, we're going to be living in Henford on Bagley. Oh my god, this is my first look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Where are we going to live? Like, this is the only empty place. Wild Fox isn't off the grid. Oh, I was thinking this one looks quite cute, but I gonna feel bad demolishing the house because I know that like Simmers made these houses so I'm gonna feel a bit guilty demolishing them. Okay so I know I definitely don't want to live in the centre. Old New Henford, an area that boasts rolling hills, lush estates and a small community garden. Oh that could be a good place to start. Old New Henford is perhaps best known for its historical naming woes. Initially known as Little Henford, the neighbourhood renamed itself to New Henford in an attempt to escape its diminutive origins. Ooh, lore. However, in neglecting to inform national map makers, they ceased to officially exist for a two-week period. When told that to be reinstated would require yet another name change, residents chose Old New Henford, which beat out the other choice, New New Henford, by a single vote. I love the Sims. So silly. Or we have this area, the Bramblewood. This sounds cuter. The natural beauty of these woods have long provided a picturesque place for many wild birds, rabbits, and foxes to call home. Whether secreting a small surprise under Sophie the snail, bringing an easel to paint in the serene Cordelia Falls, foraging for wild mushrooms, or finding romance among the ruins on the Isle of Vault, any sim would be transformed by a day in Bramblewood. Okay, I think we might need to go to Bramblewood. There's somewhere to paint so we can make money. There's wild animals like rabbits and foxes and birds. Also, there's wild mushrooms, which is very important for this series. And we can find romance here in the ruins, which I think sounds lovely. So let's Let's go here. Cordelia's secret cottage. That sounds so cute, but we're gonna have to knock it down. I'm gonna feel so bad, but we're gonna have to. Bulldoze lot. Okay, we don't, I don't even see it. I, this is not a judgment on whoever built this. I'm so sorry, but we're gonna buy it. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at the views. Okay, so first things first, we need to set our money to zero. <gasps> All our money is gone now. Oh no. <laughs> the real challenge begins now. She's somehow got a phone. I don't know how she's got service up here. That is so unrealistic. But <gasps> there's a place to fish straight away. Should we start by fishing? This is so beautiful. Look, we're near a waterfall. This is just our house. We just live next to a beautiful waterfall. Hello? Wow, we lucked out. Victor Feng. <laughs> I love how I was reading this. It's freaking Batu. I'll vacation later. Thanks, Victor Feng. Don't want to go to bloody Batu. <laughs> okay, so she's just doing a little spot of fishing. During that time, I might try and look if there's anything to forage. I kind of want to find some wild mushrooms, but it might take a while for it to all spawn in. Also, there's going to be like a little lit up path because all these little lanterns down here. Is this a picnic spot? This place is so beautiful. Can we rummage? There's no fresh trash. Okay, sad. Look how pretty this all is. I'm actually so impressed how beautiful this world looks. What's this? Oh. <gasps> what? Is it? Is she talking to the birds? What is this? Chat about cats. You can socialise. Scare away birds. Why would you do Show dance move. Oh my goodness, come here right now. Oh, pause, pause, pause. No, <laughs> we've got a welcome wagon. Who are we gonna meet? Bring us a fruit cake. We've got Ian Moody and Derek McKi McKillen? McKillen? Let's come and say hello to them. Hello, neighbors. Oh, hook, line, and sinker. Lil feels right at home by the water. See, the thing is, I don't think I'd actually like fishing. So I'm going to say no. We're just going to use it in rags of riches. But this is me. I wouldn't like fishing. But we're going to invite our, par our parents. <laughs> we're going to invite our neighbours in. Let's come and say hello to them. Oh no, we've got our snooty walk. Look at us. We should make friends with the neighbours. I feel like that's important. I never usually do anything with my welcome wagons. Should we have a piece of fruitcake? Let's see if I like fruitcake. In real life, I like fruitcake. So hopefully we do. Also, she's getting her charisma skills. So this is good. Can I go into build mode when... Okay, I can. I just want to check that we do have the right lot type. So do I have the right challenges? I think I do. Simple living. This lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. And then we've also got wild foxes. Wild foxes will appear on this lot. Being a nuisance in your garden, chickens and rabbits. Do we want wild foxes? I will let you choose in the comments below if you want me to add wild foxes. We will get to see little foxies, but they also might make life a lot harder. So I'll let you choose. Also, should I add off the grid? I feel like it makes sense that we'd have off the grid, but also 
it makes it so much harder. <laughs> it does make it a lot harder. So again, let me know if you want me to add off the grid. For now, I'll just add simple living. But in the comments, let me know if you want me to add wild foxes and off the grid. You might want me to have the extra challenge. Also, we should add some traits. I feel like great soil would be really good. I feel like peace and quiet would make sense up here because we are right at the top of like a hill. And then I'm thinking home studio or homey. I think homey probably makes more sense to be honest. Let me know what you think of these lot traits and if you want me to change any of them. Maybe we should do gnomes, let's do gnomes. That sounds cute. <laughs> we still have zero simoleons, so we can't buy anything yet. Like, we don't even have a bed, so we'll be sleeping on the bench for now. But I think that's part of the fun of Rags to Riches. <gasps> who are you? Is that a fox? Watch Fluff. Who is Fluff? Ask Fluff not to steal. Dress Fluff. <gasps> It's a fox! Oh my gosh, I can give flowers. I want to watch Fluff. Okay, Fluff might have gone by the time we're finished talking to these elders. Oh my gosh, look at me walking around with my fruitcake. Why is Judith here? That makes no sense. Okay, let's dig this spot once we're done because we do need some monies. Where are we going? <gasps> and there's little wild mushrooms. Uproot plant? Does that mean we like pick up the plant? Let's do it. What is this animation gonna look like? Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just destroyed the mushroom. That's so sad. I thought it was gonna like uproot it and I'd be able to plant it in my garden. Oops. So far all we've done is eat fruitcake and destroy nature. I want to talk to the birds. Discuss flock politics. Okay, let's do that. This is so cute. They're like flying in and out of it. Look, it's a little blue tip. Favourite gift unknown, not helping with gardening. So they like have preferable gifts and stuff. So they might not like a gift you give them. Oh, also we are starting to need the toilet. So we might have to go travel to the pub to use the toilet there. <gasps> we made friends! Let's talk about feathers. Show dance moves, they'll like that. Look, let's go! <laughs> oh, they didn't like her dancing! Oh no! Ask if birds are real, they're not gonna like that. You can practice violin with them. You can sing to them. Can we gift anything? Discover gift preferences, let's do that. Look how pretty this all is! Are you kidding me? I think this is the most beautiful world. Also, there is a free bathroom down here, so maybe we should use this. There's a little bridge here. And it's got lanterns, it's gonna look so pretty at night. Oh, there's people swimming. There's some frogs, let's look for some frogs. Look, it's ruins. I'm sorry that this whole video is just me being like, oh my gosh, the whole time. But like, can you blame me? Look at it. What's happening to her? Hello? What? What? <laughs> I hope she's all right. Is there anything else to scavenge? I kind of want to send us off to the pub to like see if we can meet any new people there. Oh, there's something to harvest here. Wild blueberry. Harvest all. I'm not uprooting any more plants. Wolf swimming in here help our hygiene, I wonder, because that'll be very useful for rags to riches. Right now we can't eat anything at home unless we've planted it ourselves, so we really should go scavenging. Okay, let's travel. I want to take us to the pub. Okay, here's the pub. The gnome's arms. It's also got wild foxes here, so maybe we should add wild foxes doo, doo, doo. <gasps> here we are oh my gosh wait a second it's got a telephone box can we interact okay no it's just a decorative item should have been able to wee in that really shouldn't we that should be a public restroom because in the uk let me tell you it is look at the sign hello Let's just talk to her. What is her name? Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Let's grab some chips because they're for free. Please don't order anything. Actually, she can't order anything because we have no money. It's the one time I don't have to worry about that. Oh, she's just decided to stop serving and <laughs> just come and chill. Fair enough. Oh, we could be romantic with her already. Offered out with errands. That's new. <gasps> What? Oh my god, it's like Stardew. This is literally Stardew. Select up to three errands from the various locals of Henford on Bagley to help with and become a trusted member of this community. A simple request. You ever have one of those days where you've got too much to do and not enough time to do it? I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have spare time. Would you be able to help me out? Rewards, an assortment of ingredients, fertilizer, and a freshly prepared meal. A signature drink. My pub has been rather successful, but I'm always looking for the next big thing. I think I have a lead on on a new and exciting drink we could offer here. Would you like to make some mixology magic happen? Reward a new drink recipe, cooking ingredients, and a freshly prepared meal, or a friendly visit. I've been meaning to pay a visit to some of my friends around the village, but I'm awfully busy. Would you mind taking a stroll and seeing how everyone's doing? You can get a local meal, some berries, an upgrade part, and a chance of receiving a cross stitch pattern. I want to do all of these. How do I choose just one? I feel like it makes sense to go for the one with the most money, but I kind of want to get some berries and a cross stitch pattern so I think I'm gonna go for this and also it gives us a chance to like go and check and meet some new people so I think this is probably the best idea for now okay we have an errand tab this is like 
this council's work. I haven't had a chance at the proper chinwag recently. Oh my god, they use words like chinwag now. With some of the other locals, I'm going to send you in my steed. Okay, so we need to have a heart to heart with three important Henford on Bagley residents. Okay, how do we know which ones are important or not? Look at this rug. Oh, stop. Can we light the fire? Can we just quickly come over here and light the fire? Let's warm ourselves, warm ourselves, and then just sit for a little bit. I could nap here. How cozy is this right now? Oh my gosh. Do you feel the cozy vibes? And I need to look for some important looking members of the community. Grocery shop owner, maybe this person? Let's do a friendly introduction. Oh, this person looks important. Village mayor, they're definitely important. Okay, let's go and have a friendly introduction with the village mayor. Look at this cute little place. I wish these a window shop. Oh, you can window shop. And look, it's got like a proper little post box in the wall. Oh, this is the post office, I'm guessing. We need to have a heart to heart with her though. Have a heart to heart. There we go. Straight in with the heart to heart. Some people try and bribe me at the Finchwick Fair. To them, I say, don't try it unless you can make it worthwhile. Ha, huh, I'm only joking. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's window shopping right now. I do need to look for someone else for us to meet. Oh, grocery deliverer. Let's talk to them. She looks really important. Agatha Crumplebottom. Garden shop owner. Can we shop in a garden shop? So many people here have a heart to heart. It's all rather simple. Pruning is important. Watering is essential. Fertilizer? Well, there are multiple types of fertilizer. Some make your plants grow quicker or healthier. Some improve quality. Some cause the plant to produce more fruit. It's important to use the right fertilizer to fit your needs. So not that simple then. <laughs> okay, maybe we can try tomorrow. I don't know if it has like an expiry date on this thing. It doesn't look like it has an expiry date. So maybe we can try that tomorrow. But now let's head home. Although home, we don't really have anywhere to sleep. And it is getting late. And oh, we're also hungry. Oh, maybe before we head home, we'll grab some chips then. She's got her hunger up a little bit. So I'm gonna send her home now. There is a bench to sleep on at least. So we'll just nap there, I guess. That is the start of Rags to Riches in fairness. Yeah, it's 11.30. Oh my gosh, there's just fruit cake. <laughs> but I think we'll go down to the bench and we'll just come and sleep here. And I think that this is where we will wrap up in this beautiful little scene of go back to sleep. <laughs> go back to sleep but yeah I think this is where we're gonna wrap up for today thank you all so 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 much for watching I hope you enjoyed this first part of my sim self rags to riches in the new country living pack comment down below what you think about the lot traits and the lot challenges if you have any other tips or thoughts on the video let me know in the comments below thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next part bye everyone